you see the microphone? That's the microphone right there. People say, why, why don't you put your microphone down here next to your mouth? And the reason is, because it catches every, every breath you take. <sighs> so, I keep it up over my nose. It still picks up sound, doesn't it? I think so. Okay, well, I don't know if this is going to be, I guess this is going to be a separate video. I just um, came out here to Home Plus so I could be around some people. I sit at home alone all the time. It's very boring and not very mentally healthy, I don't think. But nobody likes to do things with me. I don't know anybody who likes to go riding motorcycles in Korea. Well, there might be, but they don't want to do it with me. Um, I'm not a real big drinker. I don't like going out and spending a fortune drinking at a bar when I could spend a third of a third of that amount of money drinking at home. But um, I don't know anybody who likes to do that. Likes to sit at home with friends and drink. Who likes to do that? Apparently nobody I know. Yeah, I'm kind of in the self-pity party today. Yeah, I don't get this way a lot, but I am today. It's a perfect day for a self-pity party. Kind of cloudy, cold. Riding the bike is probably the best thing for me today. Just just riding around. So I did buy some peaches, some canned peaches. Well, they're not really canned, they're in those little plastic bottles, but they, they finally sell sliced peaches now in fruit juice. Used to be they only sold fruit in jars with syrup, heavy syrup. So now they sell it with, uh, in jars with just fruit juice, so it's not so sweet. sweet tooth really. Some things I like, but I'm not. Yeah, something that is overly saccharine is really not my style. I don't, it doesn't taste good. It takes the taste away from things if it's too sweet. This is kind of an industrial area here. A lot of trucks. Can you believe it? This area has a lot of trucks coming in and out, deliveries and whatnot, but it's always so crowded and the streets so narrow, I don't know how they do it. It's like um, um, sometimes when you ride a bus in America, of course bus, bus stations in America tend to be downtown in the cities, and I don't know how they do that. You know, the, the little narrow, crowded streets. When I would ride a Greyhound bus, I was amazed that they could get in and out of the bus station. lunch hour? Must be. It's typical in Korea that everybody has lunch at the same time. You'll find sometimes offices will just close for an hour because everybody in the office is going to have lunch. I guess nowadays with a lot of influence from Western civilization they do kind of break up their staff so that some go to lunch and some stay. As frustrating as it can be, going someplace and seeing that they're closed, 
I'm really not that averse to it because maybe there's something maybe there's something to it that everybody who works together eats lunch together you know what's wrong with that yeah 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 I like to bitch and gripe just like the next guy but so what you know I can bitch and gripe till the cows come home but I think in the long run people having lunch together people who work together have lunch together I don't see anything I don't see anything wrong with that. Actually, I think that there's something probably quite good with that. Oh, I have a cache hidden under that trestle right there. Is it this one? Let me see. Is it this one? Yes, this one. Up in there. Not actually under the trestle, but under the yes it is it is under the trestle it's called trestle tuck if you want to look it up <laughs> and I think I named it trestle tuck because yes it is actually under the trestle so there it is trestle is not a word that Koreans learn usually and so I thought I'll put a geocache there use the word in the title and uh, when Koreans go look for it they'll learn a new English word I am I am a teacher that's what I do everything I do sometimes well not everything I do sometimes that sounds kind of stupid like saying always sometimes no what I mean is I try I try to be educational I try to be a teacher that's the whole purpose of my being in Korea, is to help them learn English. What I learned from the Koreans is incidental to my being here, really. I've learned a lot from the Koreans. And if I do get the job in Malaysia, and I, I move to Malaysia, then I can I can guarantee that I'm going to be sad. I'm going to be sad about leaving Korea. I'm going to miss Korea. Do you notice how long I had the green light, and that guy had no intention of stopping? <laughs> He beeped his horn, that, that horn beep you heard was that truck letting us know that he was gonna run the red light. That is something here. Um, if you're not gonna stop at a red light, then you beep your horn as a courtesy to let people know that you're gonna run the red light. I watch, uh, I watch moto vloggers from America and people doing just simple little things. I mean, in America, they're wrong, they're illegal, they're dangerous, or, or something, I don't know, but I, I, I think about in Korea, I deal with worse things like that every single day. These motor vloggers bitching about, somebody pulled out in front of me. Well, he pulled out in front of you 200 meters ahead of you. You know, and oh, well, yeah, in America, that would be kind of rude, but here, people pull out right in front of me all the time. And it's not that they didn't see me, it's just that, as I've said in another video, my class of vehicle is so far down the list that um, my status is so low that, yeah, a higher status vehicle can pull out in front of me. And it may be dangerous, it may be even illegal, I don't know. But uh, nobody's going to stop them from doing that. Complaining about it is kind of useless. So. Motorcyclists tend not to stay in the right lane because people will pull out of driveways and, and cross streets right in front of you all the time. So you try to you try to stay out of that right lane if you if possible. If you're on a two-lane road, well, you just have to be very very careful. You might have to you might have to stop suddenly, or you might have to literally uh, veer into the um, oncoming lane. So you have to keep your wits about you all the time. But 
I learned to ride motorcycle here in Korea. First time I rode a motorcycle was here, so I don't. <laughs> this is all normal to me. The, the the driving here is just so normal to me, and I I don't have the camera on. You know, 99% of the time that I ride, I do not have a camera on, and so if I if I had a camera on all the time, you would catch some really weird stuff that goes on in driving around here. But anyway, I'm cold now, so I'm I'm. I'm done. I'm done riding. I'm gonna go and uh, no, I'm, uh, what do I, I don't know what I'm gonna go get a beer. No, no, I got some mulled wine. I made some of this uh, Molson. I saw it online. It's for we're in the middle of set. Well, we just started Saturnalia today. I shouldn't say in the middle, but we just started Saturnalia. All week long is Saturnalia, the Roman festival of Saturn, and. Um, I saw online that one of the drinks that the Romans used to make was uh, mulsum, which I don't know what mulled wine is, but it might be what we call mulled wine. I have to look that up. Anyway, you, you put some honey into in some white wine and you let it sit overnight. And I, and I tried a little bit yesterday, and actually it's pretty good. So I'm, I'll have some of that. I'll have some of that mulsum. Maybe it's called mulled wine. Just relax, maybe play on the Xbox a bit. It's Monday, I don't teach on Mondays, and it's final exam week, and one half, 50% of my students have finished their exams. I'm just gonna mop up the rest this week, and uh, we'll be done. Get them into the computer system, get a few emails bitching and griping about their grades, I'll offer some condolences and some empathy and sympathy. And then, then we'll be done. Okay, all right, everybody, uh, I'm home. So that's the end of this. <laughs> uh, I don't want to. I don't want to get it. I don't want to get trapped over there. So I'll put the bike back here. All right. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. That old couple, they, they do a lot of the recycling. I guess they get money for it. But um, my 125 is in there. <laughs> it's kind of surrounded by their junk. But we, you need somebody to do the recycling, right? So I'm not gonna gripe about it. They perform a service. All right.